the uh, the moment or the season that it happened. But the Christian life for me, and here's where a lot of people are, the Christian life for me became more about my, here it is again, my performance, my accomplishments for yeah. God rather than God's love for me, for God, for God. Don't miss that. What are you going to do for God? That's the sound of do-it-yourself living. What are you going to do for God? What are you going to do yeah. for God? I grew up, they'd say, look at what God did for you. Now, what are you going to do for God? That little word for, F-O-R, that little word for almost killed yeah. me. What are you going to do for God? Because if wow. you're doing it for God, you're never going to feel like you do enough. And nowhere in the new covenant does it say we do anything for God. It says we do it in him, in him, Amazing. Well, that's in so him. Christ, Christ in me. I'm in Christ, Christ in me. Let me tell you, the Christian life became fun for me when I realized I can't live it. I can't live it. I spent yeah. the Christian life is impossible. I spent my life like a cheerleader trying to tell people you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. But the gospel preacher shows up and says, you can't do it. If you could do it, you wouldn't need Jesus. But we need him. He's our life. My Lord. And so that little word for, I spent my life trying to do everything for him. I tried to imitate. Remember, remember those little bracelets we, we'd wear said, what would Jesus do? I'll tell you what Jesus would do. He would do what you could never do. If you that could do it. it, you wouldn't need him. The reality is, truth is that we get to bear, bear, not produce, bear the Christ life. And, and, and you know what I found out? Christ lived, Christ lives the Christian life better than I do. That is and it became so much fun when I got this revelation to live this oh. life. But it was all about my, my performance. What am I going to do? For, and, and when I lost the focus, here's what happened. When I lost the focus of God's grace, I lost my joy, I lost my strength, I lost my delight, I lost my security. Some of the oh most goodness. insecure people I have ever met are people in the local church. Yeah. What in the world? It's Something's so wrong. Something's wrong. So people my ask goodness. me all the time, uh, they ask me all the time, they say, Ben, how well, now we don't understand this, here you are in ministry. How well did you understand grace before you really understood grace? And, and here's my answer. I thought that I understood grace perfectly well, but when grace himself, and hear how I just said that. When grace himself came into focus, and let me say that again, grace himself. Grace is not a doctrine. Grace is not a podcast. Grace is not a tweet. Grace, grace is not a theology. Grace no. is a person. Jesus wow. is grace. Grace is Jesus. And yes. when he came into focus, I was floored. And, and I realized that I barely understood it at all. And that's what led me to write this book 